Imperata for protection against COVID-19, please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick. Pray for us. Saint Joseph. Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel. Pray for us. San Roque. Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz. Pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod. Pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, today we commemorate San Ezequiel Moreno, a priest and a bishop, a missionary who served here in our country. He served the poor. He served many missionary stations here in our land. And today, we also pray especially for Bishop Broderick Pabillo as he is installed this morning as the Vicar Apostolic of Taytay in Palawan. We remember that the Word of God always invites us and calls us to respond to God's mission. To prepare ourselves to respond to this call of the Father, let us first acknowledge our sins and ask the Lord for His pardon and strength. Lord Jesus, you have shown us the way to the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you have given us the consolation of the truth. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the Good Shepherd leading us into everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who through blessed Ezequiel Moreno brought peoples without faith 
from darkness to the light of truth. Grant us through His intercession that we may stand firm in faith and remain constant in the hope of the gospel He preached. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Judges. The Spirit of the Lord came upon Jephthah. He passed through Gilead and Manasseh, and through Mizpah, Gilead as well. And from there he went on to the Ammonites. Jephthah made a bow to the Lord. If you deliver the Ammonites into my power, he said, whoever comes out of the doors of my house to meet me when I return in triumph from the Ammonites shall belong to the Lord. I shall offer him as a burnt offering. Jephthah then went on to the Ammonites to fight against them. And the Lord delivered them into his power, so that he inflicted a severe defeat on them. From error, error to the approach of Minneth, twenty cities in all, and as far as Abel Keramim. Thus were the Ammonites brought into subjection by the children of Israel. When Jephthah returned to his, uh, to his house in Mizpah, it was his daughter who came forth, playing the tambourines and dancing. She was an only child. He had neither son nor daughter besides her. When he saw her, he rent his garments and said, Alas, daughter, you have struck me down and brought calamity upon me. For I have made a bow to the Lord, and I cannot retract. She replied, Father, you have made a bow to the Lord. Do with me as you have vowed. Because the Lord has wrought vengeance for you on your enemies, the Ammonites. Then she said to her father, Let me have this favor. Spare me for two months that I may go off the mountains to mourn my virginity with my companions. Go, he replied and sent her away for two months. So she departed with her companions and mourned her virginity on the mountains. At the end of the two months, she returned to her father, who did to her as he had vowed. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Here I am, Lord. I come to do your will. Here I am, Lord. I come to do your will. Bless the man who makes the Lord his trust, who turns not to idolatry or to those who stray after falsehood. Here I am, Lord. I come to do your will. Sacrifice or oblation you wish not, but ears open to obedience you gave me. Burnt offerings or sin offerings you sought not. Then said I, Behold, I come. Here I am, Lord, I come to do your will. In the written scroll, it is prescribed for me. To do your will, O my God, is my delight, and your law is within my heart. 
Here I am, Lord, I come to do your will. I announce your justice in the vast assembly. I did not restrain my lips, as you, O oh Lord, know. Here I am, Lord, I come to do your will. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus again in reply spoke to the chief priests and the elders of the people in parables saying, The kingdom of heaven may be likened to a king who gave a wedding feast for his son. He dispatched his servants to summon the invited guests to the feast, but they refused to come. A second time he sent other servants, saying, Tell those invited, Behold, I have prepared my banquet, my calves and fattened cattle are killed, and everything is ready. Come to the feast. Some ignored the invitation and went away, one to his farm, another to his business. The rest laid hold of his servants, mistreated them, and killed them. The king was enraged and sent his troops destroyed those murderers, and burned their city. Then the king said to his servants, The feast is ready, but those who were invited were not worthy to come. Go out, therefore, into the main roads, and invite to the feast whomever you find. The servants went out into the streets and gathered all they found, bad and good alike, and the hall was filled with guests. But when the king came in to meet the guests, he saw a man there not dressed in a wedding garment. He said to him, My friend, how is it that you came in here without a wedding garment? But he was reduced to silence. Then the king said to his attendants, Bind his hands and feet, and cast him into the darkness outside, where there will be wailing and grinding of teeth. Many are invited, but few are chosen. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. As we uh, pray today for our beloved Bishop Broderick Pabilio, this morning at uh, 8.30 a.m., he will be installed as the new Apostolic Vicar for Taytay in Palawan. And as we remember him in our prayers today, I remember him as our professor in uh, sacred scriptures when I was a seminarian in theology. And he would always teach us that the Word of God does not only teach, does not only describe, but the Word of God invites and calls us. And therefore, he said, whenever we read the Word of God, you know, Bishop Pabilio 
holds a degree in sacred scriptures from the biblical institute in Rome. So he is a scripture expert and scholar. But he would remind us that whenever we study the Bible, whenever we read the Bible, he said, we do not just learn. We do not just study. But we respond to the call of the Word of God. Sabi sa amin ni Bishop Pabilio nung siya nagtuturo sa amin tungkol sa Biblia, sabi niya, ang salita ng Diyos ay hindi lamang nagtuturo. Ang salita ng Diyos kapag binabasa natin ay hindi lamang tayo natututo. Sabi niya, ang salita ng Diyos ay tumatawag. Nag-iimbita. At yung tawag na yan ay ibinibigay sa atin. Handa ba tayong tugunin, sagutin, at gawin ang tawag na iyan? In our gospel passage today, this is the call of Jesus when He said this parable of the wedding feast. The king invited people, but first, those invited guests were not able to respond. They left for their own businesses. And so they called again people invited. But again, the people who came, some of them were not worthy to be there, were not dressed in a wedding garment. The kingdom of God always invites. The word of God always invites and calls. And the question is, are we ready to respond? This is the purpose of God's word. The word of God invites and calls. Because if we only see the Bible as something to be read, something to be learned, something to be memorized, then this will be just an ordinary book. A book to be studied, a book to be memorized. But no, the Word of God always invites us. And so, whenever you read the Bible, towards the end of your reading of the Word of God, do not just ask, ah, what have I learned today? Sa mga lectors natin, no? Minsan nagpa-practice kayong magbasa. Sana at the end, when you have read the Word of God, wag niyo lang tanongin, ah, I have learned this pronunciation today. No? Ang hirapan naman ng mga pronunciation ngayon sa first reading. Do not just ask, ah, I have learned this pronunciation today. But, let us ask ourselves, after reading the Word of God, what does God invite me to do today? How does God call me after reading this word? Ano kaya ang tawag ng Diyos sa akin? That is why in our first reading today from the book of Judges, we see the readiness of Jephthah, the readiness even of his daughter to respond to the vow given by Jephthah to God. And the daughter responded that, Father, you have made a vow. Do with me as you have vowed to God. The word of God for Jephthah and his daughter is an invitation to be faithful to that vow, to respond to the word of God. Today also, my dear brothers and sisters, we remember San Ezequiel Moreno. He came to the Philippines at an early age, 22 years old. He was an Augustinian recollect missionary. 
and he spent 15 years in the Philippines and not here in the city. He spent most of his time in Palawan, in the different provinces nearby also Manila, serving the poor, serving the people of God. And then he was transferred in South America, in Colombia, until he died of cancer, serving the Lord, serving the poor. My dear brothers and sisters, today we are being taught that the Word of God does not only teach, it does not only describe, the Word of God invites us. The Word of God calls us. We pray that today we are able to respond to the call of God's Word. Amen. God invites us to the banquet of eternal life in heaven. Let us ask our loving Father for all our needs. For every petition, let us say, Teach us to be open to your love, Lord. Teach us to be open to your love, Lord. That the church on earth may continue to flourish and draw many to the feast of God's kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Teach us, us to be, to be open, open to your love, Lord, Lord. That the rich and the poor alike may not make excuses to evade the call of the kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Teach, Teach us, us to, to be, be open, open to your love, love Lord. Lord. That by having pure and contrite hearts, we may be found worthy to come to the banquet God has prepared for us. Let us pray to the Lord. Teach, Teach us, us to, to be open to your love, Lord. That we may bring God's compassion and kindness to the sick and the disabled. Let us pray to the Lord. Teach, Teach us, us to be open to your love, Lord. That the dead may live in house of the Lord and rejoice in the banquet of eternal life. Let us pray to the Lord. Teach, Teach us, us to, to be, be open to your love, Lord. Lord. Heavenly Father, you invite us to be with you in your kingdom. As we pray for others, help us to bring them with us to that banquet set forth by your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands 
for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy Church. Receive, O Lord, we pray, the offerings placed on your altar in commemoration of blessed Ezequiel Moreno, so that as you brought him glory, you may, through these sacred mysteries, grant to us your pardon. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For as on the festival of St. Ezekiel Moreno, you bid your church rejoice, so too you strengthen her by the example of His holy life. Teach her by His words of preaching and keep her safe in answer to His prayers. And so with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord God, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. 
Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, San Ezequiel Moreno, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him, and with Him, and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is Yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the Supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, am I am not, not worthy, worthy that, that you should, should enter under, under my roof, but, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Brothers and sisters, the body of Christ. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion my Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. May the mysteries we have received, O Lord, prepare us, we pray, for the eternal joys that as a faithful steward, blessed Ezekiel Moreno came to deserve. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. We would like to thank all of you for joining us in this celebration. And as I have said earlier, uh, Bishop Broderick Pabilio will be installed as Vicar Apostolic of Taytay in Palawan this morning. And you can watch live the Mass and installation ceremonies uh, here at the Facebook page of the Manila Cathedral. It will be at 8.30 a.m. this morning. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless all of you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth. The Mass is ended. Thanks be to God.